in the agonizing exercise of retrieving bodies and body parts at a quarry in Nairobi's quarry area, one man, a regular citizen, is standing out for his selfless spirit of service despite operating without safety gear and equipment. Charles Wambua, a local diver involved in retrieving bodies at the quarry, is the man who managed to remove 13 sacks containing bodies and body parts over the weekend of horror witnessed in the capital city. Citizen TV reporter Gatete Njoroge met Wambua at his one-roomed house in Mukuru Kwanjenga, where he had taken a day off before resuming duty on Monday. In a multitude that gathers around this quarry of death in Pipeline area, one man stands out. Dressed in plain clothes and with a rescue rope around his body, Charles Wamboa signals his friends before embarking on a deadly mission. Within minutes, he's inside the quarry, which is now covered by water and garbage. And one by one, he checks different sacks inside the quarry. Once he confirms their body parts, he ties the sack and signals his friends to lift it up. It all started with a distress call from friends near the quarry on Friday. To his shock, he discovered other sacks that had body parts. In six hours, he had retrieved eight sacks containing body parts. next, karibu na mimi. With a new development, Wambua had to camp at the quarry to help DCI homicide team retrieve more bodies as the probe into the incident began. For two days, he says they retrieved a total of 13 sacks. Out of these, authorities have confirmed recovery of nine bodies and 12 body parts. Although he had recovered eight bodies before this tragedy in the same area, Wambua says this time round the situation is different as the bodies have been dismembered and in a bad state. Wamboa who does casual jobs in Mukuru Kwanjenga for survival now wants the government to provide safety gears and equipments to speed up the recovery process as he believes there are more bodies inside the quarry.